Good morning. It is my second day of Lazy Girl Vlogmas. And I mentioned in my last video that I had become lip balm obsessed. I think that that is a reasonable thing to happen to somebody when you spend time on TikTok. And so the youths have uh, influenced me into buying into this Summer Fridays nonsense. You guys can see, will it do it? There we go. But um, this is the pink sugar and Summer Fridays is $700,000, but it actually is a really, it just, it feels really good on your lips, you know? So I have this one and I ordered the brown sugar or something, vanilla bean, vanilla bean, I think. And then I ordered the Refi and um, I'm interested in the salt air lip balm, balms. And then that's it. I'm done. Okay. Um, I think Biosance supposedly has a really good one. And also um, people talk about Laneige, but I returned to Laneige lip balm because I mentioned it in the last video. I didn't like the smell of it. I don't like fruit scented things. Like I like mints and vanilla and brown sugar and, you know, but if you put passion fruit or like strawberry, watermelon, something like that, pomegranate, no pomegranates. No pomegranates. No pomegranates. No pomegranates. Come on. No pomegranates. No pomegranates. I don't like that. Get that off my face. I I don't like fruit. Fruit smelling. I don't like it. As I said, it is the second day of Lazy Girl Vlogmas and I have some very simple things planned for today. Not a not a huge day. I'm gonna do some holiday maintenance, meaning I am going to take care of my nails on my own. I know those of you out there who are nail girlies have probably seen my nails or nail nail boys, nail they thems, whomever. You've probably seen my nails and been like, what in the heck is going on? Especially if you're the type of person who actually does go out and do festive nails. I know I do normally. Uh, the past few years, I've always gotten holiday nails, Halloween nails, birthday nails, whatever. But um, I, <laughs> I, I like to grow them out and wear them myself. I don't ever add nails to my nails. So whenever, like if you follow my IG and I used to post like my nails in my stories, whenever you've seen that, those are my nails, a hundred thousand percent. But uh, what I did was I went too long without getting my nails done and they had grown out a lot. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just take off the, the stuff myself. It's color powder and gel. I'll just take it off myself and I will uh, set my nail appointment, you know, for the end of the week, but I'm tired of looking at this. Well, in the meantime, the middle nail broke off. So I was like, ooh, okay, well, I'll try and, I had slime coming off my fingers. I had blocks of, you know, just sediment, <clears throat> sediment from whatever I had used. And it just didn't, it it was terrible. So I had to cut my nails all the way down. And when they're this short, I'm just not gonna pay for, you know, I, 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 I like to go kind of all out. Like something like this, I saw this on TikTok. Um, something like this is what I like to do. And I like to do it with my natural nail. I like to go to my same girl. And I ruined it uh, by waiting too long. And then my nail broke off and then I tried to fix it myself. I'm, I'm not a nail tech, so. However, um, I am going to be painting my nails just a basic holiday red today. I'm also gonna be doing um, some basic skincare. I'm gonna be cleaning up a little bit around the house. My mother randomly got me, I think she, she watches my vlogs and she saw my pencil tree. I don't think she'd seen it yet. And there's nothing wrong with a pencil tree. It just doesn't take up enough space, right? You want it to take up space. I was fine. I had one last year. I was fine with this one, but my mom saw it and she's not doing a tree this year. So she was like, you know, you're not gonna be on the internet out there with that little tiny tree. So she sent me a six foot tall, fully like fleshed out Christmas tree. And she called me last night and she was like, how does it look? And I'm like, it's still in the box. So today I'm gonna take it out of the box. I'm gonna decorate it. We've got five days until Christmas, whatever. Um, and so I'll have that tree up. And then I'm gonna get ready, you guys, for a lunch date or early, like, I think it's early, it counts as early dinner or whatever. Um, we've all, we all understand right now that I don't get my vlogs uploaded by 5.30, I don't do that, um, or five o'clock. 
my stuff be posting late, like 8.30, because I gotta live my day and then edit it, right? Yeah, I have a lunch date or like a late dinner, early dinner, lunch date. I'm gonna do like a little get ready with me and then take you guys on my date. Um, I'm super excited and I didn't think that here in December I would um, find someone and have a have a date and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So let's get started with the day. I've already made my coffee and now I need to hop in the shower. I need to just get, get started. So let's, let's do that. I forgot to do Sebastian's advent calendar today. Um, unfortunately, I can't leave the things in there because last night he tried to rip all the stockings off the wall because like he could see the treats in the thing. So for completely like aesthetic storytelling purposes, I'm gonna fill it up. I'm gonna bring him in. We're gonna do our advent calendar routine. Then I'm gonna take everything out because he can't handle it. Before I bring it in, it has dawned on me that I should probably introduce you all to my tacky little decorations here. So I got these last year from my mom. Uh, she had these in her house for years. Not that dinosaur. Uh, you saw the Jurassic Park cu cup. You know the vibes. The dinosaur was a joke. Um, I, 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 he's not a joke, but it was a situation where I was like, you know what? Um, I saw this goofy thing. I don't have a front yard, but I still want him. So he's basically like taking the place of a reindeer for Mr. and Mrs. Claus. My mom has had these for like over 20 years. She was tired of looking at them. She got herself a big like six foot Santa Claus last year. So, you know, she's all about elevating onward and upward. Love that for her, but I didn't know where else to put them. So I just stuck them right here next to the tree. And what is a blessing is that this year, Sebastian hasn't tried to eat any of them because last year he did uh, knock everything down, try and take the dinosaur's head off and he ate several ornaments. So when I say, he is really growing up. Uh, I am, I'm not lying to you. He is growth. Yes. I don't know if I expected that to be a bigger deal or not, but it like, it really wasn't. Um, he, he knows when he sees a treat to sit. And then if I don't give it to him fast enough, he'll just lay down because he knows sit and lay down. So, uh, he, so, so that's done. So now it's time to take these out so he doesn't try and tear them off the wall. Time to get ready for the day. Um, I actually do have to run an errand because I bought, well, I bought the Danessa Myricks. Um, I bought the Danessa Myricks like blurring, like blurring balm. Oh, okay, this light is better. So I actually do have to run an errand today, a couple errands. I um, I got the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm too from the Sephora sale. And there's nothing wrong with the product, but when I put it on, it was the wrong color. It made me look like the ghost of Christmas past. So I decided that I'm gonna take that back. I have eight, I got 8.5, should not have done that. And then if I'm gonna be decorating another tree, I'm not I'm not undoing this. Cause I mean, she's she's a pencil, but she's beautiful. So I'm gonna keep her like she is, but I need new ornaments. So I'm gonna go out. I'm sure they got ornaments on sale right now. Get me some little discount ornaments. We'll see what, what happens. Um, then, then I know what Christmas cocktail I wanna make. So I need to go and get the ingredients for that. And that means I have to leave the house. So, let me go get ready to leave. All right, I decided to go to Michael's for my ornament shopping first. I went crazy over this kind of thing last year, like, but I can't find any of these decorations. I don't know where they are. I did find him though, a $200 chocolate nutcracker man. I can't buy him, so I decided to take some photos with them. Okay, so it is dire straits out here me and my uh, grandmother Christmas sweater. Anyway, um, it is dire straits. And it's so funny because just the other day I was talking to a friend and I was telling her I wanted to do a blue tree for next year. So I think I'm gonna do a blue tree now. This is all they have. 
and their ornaments are 50% off. So I'm just gonna take this and I think the tree my mom sent me will be blue and, and white. Okay, so I decided that over my dead body, I would be decorating blue and white. It just didn't sit well with my spurt. So, came here to Target, and they have a lot of their decorating like sets still. I'll never be comfortable talking in public like this. This is ridiculous. Ooh. Okay, so I did think about doing white and gold, but we're gonna do red and white like I have on my other tree. Um, I bought one of these last year. I'm gonna get one now. It's ten dollars for this big thing. And then, look at this, these big snowballs. This is so cute, but you know what? I need to chill. This tree's gonna be up for five days. I'm just gonna chill. Okay, I'm back from the store and I set up the bigger tree over here in the corner. Again, this is just, this is for nothing else uh, other than just, I was gonna take you guys through me actually like decorating it, but you know what? We're just gonna pull one of these little internet magic things that I learned from the youths on TikTok and it's decorated. As much as I am a fan of internet magic, I worked too hard on decorating this tree. I was sweating and breathing so hard at the end of it because I could not figure out how to light it up. And I had to do battle with these flowers right here. They, they would not be free, but it turned out like I like, and this is what it looks like at night. And it's just, just really easy for me to digest. Feels very Christmassy. There's her sister, her pencil sister over there in the corner. And then this is what the whole room looks like when you kind of pull out a little bit. All right, it is almost time for my date. I told you guys I wanted to do a little get ready with me. Um, I'll do a more in-depth one later on. Still covered in like the snow from that tree, but it's okay. I'll change before the date. Um, I think I can wear something festive. I don't think he'll mind. And let's go ahead and get started. So um, this is still in the package, by the way. But I saw comments in the comment section of my last video that the Autumn Fireside was a good scent. And I will say that's the first one I sprayed. I'm very influenceable, you guys, just if you haven't noticed. Um, I'm, I'm so blessed and highly favored that I don't have the flush pockets I'd want to have because um, <laughs> I would really do some shopping, okay, via the internet because I'd be buying the stuff the girlies be recommending. So if you use these, uh, the replica scents, and you have a favorite, let me know. Or if you have a favorite fragrance in general, let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, I'm not a fragrance girly, but I see the other, I see the content, I see the content and i'm curious about it curious um i already have a little bit of powder foundation i have a little bit of makeup on right now so i'm just going to go in with some concealer i got this born this way concealer i don't know what i, I can just tell you what it is um because people said that this was full coverage i tried house labs and i tried um which one was it I still have it. Oh, Huda, Huda Beauty, Huda, 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 Huda Beauty. Um, I like Huda, I did not like House Labs because I'm not a person who's like, yes, I want my makeup to feel like skin. No, I have textured skin, I have darker circles under my eyes, which I got the topicals eye patches, so I'm waiting on those to come in. Um, but yeah, I have textured skin, I have, I don't need my makeup to look like skin, like cover me, you know what I, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go here with this. Oh, lovely, I have the, uh, the stuff literally on my, <laughs> on my eyes, crazy. So this date, this date, I'm excited. You know, it's the end of the year and you know, it's nice to, to meet someone and uh, I'm really excited. Like I said, it was a surprise, you know, 
All good things, right? Come to those who wait. <laughs> I am doing this, by the way, because I remember you guys were really upset um, <laughs> a couple of months ago when I did a Get Ready With Me, and it turned out to be um, a journalistic look into Get Ready With Me culture, and I just want to say at that point in time, what I did, and I didn't find out until I uploaded it to the internet, but what I did with that particular video had already been done like by actual journalism company. I, I mean, I cited my sources, you know. I definitely cited my sources and, uh, or showed that I wasn't the only person thinking about that topic. Because for those of us who don't watch that kind of content or didn't watch that kind of content, weren't really interested in it, didn't really know like a whole lot about it. The fact that people became literal millionaires in a year from sitting on their floors in their rooms and having, you know, talking while they do their makeup is so wild to me. So I just kind of wanted to investigate, like, what is this? Who are the people? How much money are they making? And I think it's interesting that shortly after I put that out, shortly after I put that out, the uh, young women who I profiled in the video, specifically like Alex Earl, Monet McMichael, Forbes came out with their information and they were like, hey, they're doing better than you think they're doing. I don't know if you guys saw that at the time, maybe like a week or so after I did my little video. Um, so yeah, so it's incredibly, it's an incredibly profitable way to do content. Well, it was, you know, content shifts all the time. And I saw someone write, uh, make a video the other day. They were like, what will we do next? You know, we did get ready with me's. We did, um, you know, whatever what will content turn into next? And I honestly don't know. Um, I did not initially do or didn't want to do one of these things because I'm not good at makeup. <laughs> I'm not good at it. I just sort of flop around and hopefully find something. By the way, I purposefully did not say what foundation I just used because I know right now it's a very sensitive time politically and I know certain companies are being boycotted and the foundation, I already bought it before um, the boycotts and things began. So um, I don't want to put that out there um, or give them any press at the moment. Uh, I think it's really interesting the direction that certain influencers took or have taken when it comes to what's happening right now politically. Um, I am a person who doesn't have that big of a online footprint, so I don't think anybody was expecting me to speak out. Evelyn, Evelyn and the internets, Evelyn did a wonderful video about a day ago, a day or two ago, and she talked about why influencers don't get political. And this was something I was really passionate about uh, back in like October. I talked about it over my Patreon. Um, I'm not in the camp of needing people to agree with everything I believe in order for me to keep supporting them. And that's all I'll say about that. But I do respect the time. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing with this pressed powder, so am I. I use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake underneath my eyes and I used another powder around the perimeter of my face. But anyway, yeah, it's an important conversation. Um, I do see a lot of different perspectives about it. And uh, yeah, so I just, I'll keep what foundation I use, but I will say that the foundation I used has been the best foundation for my skin. And perhaps there will be another time in life where I can talk about it again. Um, this brow gel, I like it, but it dries out, although it stayed kind of smooth. I like the fact that brows returned to 2016 brows this year. I saw a lot of that being talked about online and I really, I really liked that. I hope my date likes 2016 brows because that's what he's getting. Yeah, man, I don't be knowing what I'm doing. I just go in and paint sometimes and sometimes I do no work. <laughs> sometimes I do nothing. To be honest with you, powder foundation and a little and a good primer has been a lifesaver for me 
This is the uh, Huda Beauty concealer, by the way. I look like a straight up clown right now. That's okay. Just gonna blend it in. But yeah, powder foundation and a really, really good uh, primer has been great. Great, 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 great. Yeah, super excited these brows came back for a little bit because I did not like the laminated brows, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, now let's add some warmth to my face because I look crazy. Uh, powder foundation, this Juvia's Place powder foundation. I like it, so I'm gonna use it. The order that I do makeup in changes every single time. I do my makeup, by the way, every single time. I'm very ADD when it comes to makeup. So like I will follow a tutorial and then I'll be like, wow, that worked out. I love it. <laughs> then I'll never do it again because I don't remember what I did. Yeah, see that? Warmed it right up. Um, I really like this Airfresh, I mean, uh, Flawless Charlotte, whatever. Oh, and that's the end of it. I bought this, so the Sephora sale, the one size. I don't like the aerosol can. I was like, but, but I could see that literally before I checked out. I still, I don't know why I still bought it, but I did. I'm gonna do my eyes off camera. I'm not gonna wear lashes. It may not look like I did a lot. I just did eyeliner and mascara. I'm not gonna do lashes. I don't know him that well. <laughs> also, I haven't been into really doing the whole thing with lashes, but I do wanna talk about the mascara that I used because it was a dupe that the youths on uh, TikTok recommended. I'm not sure what it's a dupe for. I will um, look it up and put it up here on the screen, but it's e.l.f and it's supposed to be one that is a dupe for something people really like. I have no lashes, my eyelids are bald. So I like it because up close, it looks like I have a little bit of lashes, but my eyelids are basically bald. So I just wear the mascara for, for fun. To kind of contour my face out, I've been using the same Juvia's Place Sahara palette for the last few years. I had to put a little bit of blush here. And some down here. And on the side. And some here. There we go. And I'm gonna take a moment to blend that a little bit more. I got the makeup by Mario Contour about a year ago, and I think I just never used it. How does that look? Does that look like something? Will he run away? Mm -hmm. Okay, the next thing, and maybe my favorite thing, is lips. I love when people show you how to do like cool lip combos. lip products Ugh, this is not the lipstick I wanted I wanted a red do I own a red no okay so I own a red I own it's a color pop but it's this it's their blotted lip this is not the vibe I wanted I feel like I lost my lips so I'm gonna go on with this Juvia's place just a little bit because my god it's gonna make everything so dark I need to get a red. That's what I wanted. That was the vibe I wanted. Juvia's is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is a Juvia's. 
all the lip products let me tell you something i would wear only juvia's place if i liked the foundation i've never tried the foundation but if i tried it and i liked it i'd wear only juvia's and okay Ooh. <laughs> okay go out like that okay so here is the makeup and I want to talk for a second about this hair. People ask me about the hair all the time. So guys, this is crochet hair. That's right. Oh Lord, all that snow from the dog, the tree. This is crochet hair and it um, lasts a really long time. Like I put this in hmm, December 1st. It looks super natural. I don't know if y'all were paying attention the other day when I did this, but when I turned around to the back, it looks so full and natural. Um, I uh, put it in myself. It is $30 a box, it's super synthetic. Um, it's very like matted, you know, right now, but that's partly because I just, I won't be really taking care of it, but uh, it doesn't have to be matted. Like it, it holds up, you know? The best part about this hair is that it looks so natural. It looks so natural. And I will have people say, oh wow, what products do you use? Man, please. <laughs> um, so, you know, this is this is definitely from a box, but it looks very natural. I've honestly been wearing this hair for like the last five years. First time I got it done was I think 2018. So I go back to it when I want something that I can like wear down, put up in a ponytail, you know, and not really worry about. Anyway, here's the finished makeup look. Not very fancy and obviously not a great routine, but you know, it is what it is. And also, is he here? He's here. I mean, we talked about, okay, so he and I talked about like having drinks together at my place before. I've met him, I've met him a couple times. He's been in my life for a little while, honestly. Um, but we talked about maybe having drinks here before, but he's early, like, uh, it is early, you guys. I'm still wearing this outfit. Okay, I'm gonna answer the door. You're early. I get it. Well, come on in, I guess. We'll have a drink. Time's been moving slowly, so we already well, since you came so early and we've already had such a great conversation, I guess maybe we can just, I don't know, do something we both really want to do. Okay, okay, okay. Don't don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. And for you eagle-eyed people out there, I did break his feet off, the part of him that was on the floor before I made him before I made Coco out of his body. Um, if you're wondering if you should pick up the little chocolate man, he's delicious. And for those of you who are actually very excited for me that I might have a date, I want to say thank you. Um, I thought I would do a little tongue in cheek, silly thing like that because, well, first of all, um, I really wanted that to be the case. Like I wanted to get to the end of the year and have at least one time, at this point in time in my life, I have not been on a date in years, ever since I moved back to the South. Um, and that's for a lot of reasons, but every year, you know, I'm kind of hoping that maybe this year will be different. And this year almost looked like it was going to be different in like kind of a big way, but also just, it was the same old, same old shit, different year, basically at the end. And, uh, I, um, am disappointed in that because not only as a person, 
right? But as a storyteller, as a content creator, you want to give your audience new stories. And I think specifically a lot of people invested in me because they wanted, you know, when I first came out, I was like, ah, you know, when it came to my romantic life, I think a lot of people wanted to see me win. They wanted to see me make good. They want, you know, did, did this work out? Have you ever found love? Did it happen for you yet? And as I get ready to head into my 40s and it still hasn't happened, it's depressing. Now I will say this year is not as bad as last year. Last year, I was making a TikTok every day about how sad I was. Like I physically was in pain over the fact that I was in my late 30s. I had never been able to share like a happy and warm holiday with anyone, exchange gifts with somebody, go ice skating with them, Ugh, more of that snow, attend parties with them. Um, none of that stuff. Like I'd never gotten the chance to do it. And I felt like whenever people talk about those experiences, a lot of times they take them for granted or they tell you as a single person, especially if it's year after year after year, oh, don't be negative about it. You know, keep being pot. The reason why it doesn't happen is because you're just not being, you're, you know, you're, you're, and it's always your fault, your fault, your fault. And yet you know what you put into the year. Like, you know what you tried to do. You know what you did or didn't do on dating apps or whatever. You know how you went out to places. You know whether or not you said, you know what, I'm just gonna let it come to me. And you got absolute garbage. You got garbage, right? You know that whatever happened, you did your best. And there are some people out there that did nothing, that did less than your best and are having the experiences you wanna have. And so last year I was just, woo, I was upset. This year though, I think obviously like with the whole thing that happened with my fertility earlier this year, the doctor, the news I got from the doctor um, about me and you know, some other things that happened in my personal life that were, that were like a wake up call for me. Um, and then, you know, not really knowing where I am as far as my career goes, so on and so forth. This year, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm all right. I think I would have, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Um, and I'm just kind of like committed to having the best time I can have. But occasionally I do still get, I get sour. And I just wish that for once I had a different story. Especially when uh, I met this guy and he was like, I don't do holidays. Sir, I have four Christmas trees and I'm in a, I'm in an apartment, just me and my dog. Can you imagine if I was in a house how I would decorate. One year I was at dinner with my family and I was wearing my Christmas day outfit. And someone said, oh my God, I feel so sorry for like your kids when you have them. Like they're gonna have to wear Christmas outfits with like, I was like, yeah, if I could have kids, if I was supposed to have them, um, they would, they would have on a Christmas sweater with their name on it. Dad would have on the same thing. We would all be dressed to the nines at the Christmas table, even if it was just us, like I love, the holiday season and this guy was just like yeah i don't do it i'm not into it and i thought about what life would be like if he and i were to be together and i almost started crying like i got so upset um but yeah i just i know that it's better to be myself and like in my own skin and around my own energy rather than trying to entertain something that's not for me but this time of year it is just really it's it, you're just kind of like if you've been in this position now if you haven't I don't know what to tell you. We, we're not the same, right? But if you have, you kind of, you, you're just, you're like, when is it my turn? Is it ever gonna be my turn, right? So I would have loved for the plot if I could have given my audience, like anybody who's tuned into me over the past few years, a happy ending um, for once for me. I think at this point, y'all have been watching me on the internet now almost three years. And I've given so much uh, information uh, specifically about the trauma around my dating life. But um, yeah, it would have been nice. Would have been nice to have a different story. I'm sorry, this is really good. This need, normally like with hot chocolate, I need to add um, sometimes Hershey's chocolate syrup. Sometimes I'll add some more, but this was just solid milk chocolate with marshmallows already in there. I'm trying to drink it while it's like still hot. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna find this on the Amazon store and link it if some of y'all want it or just go to world market man this i mean they, they probably still have them this is good anyway i hope you won't be too upset with me about my little prank um i'm excited uh, for this video to go up and it is about to be five o'clock so i have officially i'm gonna stop shooting for the day and hopefully post this in the next three and a half hours and i will see you when this is posted 
Thank you for watching.